Listen, I respect that this movie got made. I mean, A24 is like super yeah. awesome. So, um, you know, I don't, you obviously can speak more on them than I can, but I know they did Uncut Gems and Good they Time. They do um, a lot of smaller movies. Yeah, so I appreciate that this and movie And they also got made. have like a, just a very good track record with smaller movies that are able to make money. Um, actually, right. that might, because um, there actually might be like a few failures in there, but they, they're they known for just their I'm smaller sure money is, uh, yeah. budget. And what's great with about a, A24 is that like they're really able to take more risks yeah. because they're smaller budget. It was and definitely a risk. Like I'd rather fucking watch this than Zac Efron or some shit. Like in okay. a break, I, if this is a breakup movie, I'll take it. Like yeah. if this is a rom, like rom com, yeah, I don't know, it's a wrong um, term, but but it, it, I mean, this with another studio like wouldn't have gotten made, or at least oh, not in no. the way that you wouldn't it have was. even gotten out of you a would, meeting. Yeah, you know, they would have uh, something like Uncut Gems if it wasn't a twenty four. Yeah, wouldn't have really gotten made. I mean, right? I mean, it, maybe like Netflix or something. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. So I I like this movie the the kind of group panic attack scene I really like and I thought I really do think like it's a good contrast of like you see you see her have a panic attack a few times before in the movie what she, scene are you talking about exactly so the scene at the end when she f- sees her boyfriend cheating on her yeah and she goes oh, off yeah. that was cool because you've seen her have panic attacks a few times throughout the movie and she runs off to be by herself to do it. Mm -hmm. And then this one, uh, just contrasting the Horga people to how like, um, you know, secular society acts is like, they decide instead of letting you be alone, we're going to have kind of a group panic attack together. Yeah. I, I, I see, I saw that as more just like, you know, they, they have chosen this, uh, our, our protagonist to be the queen, whatever the fuck. Um, and uh, they're just, I, I almost saw it as like, it wasn't genuine. It was just like, hey, this is what's going on. Go, like, be okay. a part of it. And then, you know, it just seems like a, it was it was a setup. Like, you're going to be this person. We're yeah. going to get you to procreate with this one. So, like, whatever weird fucking Ponzi scheme with humans we're running, we're going to keep going. And then we're going to kill you and we're going like to sacrifice your friends. I like the scheme with humans. Yeah, I mean, like, whatever the fuck they're running, like, you know. I and actually, then, so I didn't really pick up on this until the second time that I watched it. Right. Um, the competition she wins at the end was clearly rigged like for her to win which i didn't really get what that at the end um, it's it's yeah, this dance competition where right. basically they they're supposed to do this dance that's um they they take a bunch of hallucinogenics and they're supposed to do this oh, dance and they drink that little liquid thing yeah. yeah and basically it's a dance that it starts and stops so it's very easy to fall over and the right. first time i saw it i thought like she legitimately had won and then the second time I watched it, I was just like, oh, they're letting her win because they want her to be the May Queen because they've kind of been grooming her to become part of this cult since the beginning. You know, I also thought like I felt bad for like European people. I was just like, are they yeah. going to be like, man, like you guys made us like these fucking weirdo. I, like- I should say something about that. Sure. So the just midsummer uh festival in general i like the idea of like the actual one not the Is one that a they real do thing? in the movie it's a real thing in sweden it's okay. a real place in a lot of like Shout out to northern sweden. europe I'm sure you, europe. you guys are awesome um it's a real festival and i do like kind of these like ancient holidays that are still around like it was sure. an old school pagan holiday that they just kept even through like christianity kind of taking okay, over okay i wasn't sure if that was a, that was so it's based on a real thing That's yeah cool. yeah but uh so sweden was has a lot of like tourism because of midsummer and oh, they God, were worried that, that like this movie was going to like damage them and they said something of um even in ancient times, like there has never been a recorded human sacrifice during Midsummer. Uh, okay, but, that's a weird thing to brag about. No, I know, but, but this is a movie about hey guys, humans. <laughs> we've never even sacrificed one person at the festival. Cool, man. <laughs> By the way, you're not supposed to, <laughs> but good on you. Um, just seems like a weird thing. I've never even killed anybody. 
Okay, Carl. <laughs> Anything else to add? <laughs> well, all right. They were worried it was going to like dis- distract from uh, tourism. Yeah. Because Midsummer is like a big draw to like Sweden. And uh, okay. a lot of like the stuff that they actually did get right, like uh, those dresses that they wear with like the ruins in them are like actually like the ancient alphabet. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of those uh, kind of figures that they have in the uh, in the ground, those like kind of pole with the trees all around them, mm-hmm. it, the flower crowns are like realistic. And I don't know. I'm I'm surprised that you didn't like this movie. Like again, that you're, I, I, it's you're not su- that it's like if if we're doing this show, which we are. Like I just I'm gonna be honest about the you know I'm no I'm just some fucking schmuck. Yeah. Like you know I I'm not a film person. Like that's yeah. the whole show. Like you're in the industry. You're actually know what you're talking about. I don't. So I'm I'm given that that side of it. Um, but having said that, I like fucked up things. Don't get me wrong. But like, I like it's a cool. I'm glad it happened. I'm glad yeah. they made it. So I'm, I really am. I'm glad they made it. I think it's cool. I think it's pretty like sick. You know. Um, I I don't regret watching it. I think it was like definitely. I would definitely like. Yeah, definitely watch it. Check yeah. it out. It's like pretty fucked up and and cool. Having said that, like, if we're going to discuss it, which we're doing, you know, I definitely have some things where, you know, I would have, you know, I would have wished they did a little differently because I, I, you know, because, again, it has potential. Like, it's yeah. it's really a cool idea. Um, there's just a couple of things that kind of bother so me. So Ari Aster, uh, he has another movie that kind of has the same problem, I think, called Hereditary. Mm. But with Hereditary, it, the violence is more the center focus of it, which okay. is why I Hereditary was a movie that a lot of people like. I didn't like it because I felt with Midsummer, while I could have done without the hyper violence Mm -hmm. uh i thought it took away from the movie i didn't think it took away so much that i didn't like the movie anymore no it doesn't well with hereditary the the graphic shots and the just brutality of hereditary is enough to just make you dislike the entire movie i uh so now this is making sense because i was talking to a friend and i was like oh i just saw midsummer and um he was like uh Oh, I liked Hereditary a lot better. And I was like, okay. A lot of people liked Hereditary a lot better. Mm -hmm. I did not. Uh, Like I said, just like the cultural aspect of um, Midsummer, like I like these ideas of kind of these ancient holidays. (laughs) 